this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna take a look inside the Lowell Original Mattress. So let's go. The Lowell Mattress, very popular online bed. I see their ads all the time. Um, they have a lot of good marketing behind them. And customer had this bed for a few years. Kate, okay, Gabe, what's the story behind this one? Yeah, so husband and wife, they had this mattress and started feeling a little bit warmer. Husband's a hot sleeper and then um, also his side of the bed was, can't really tell, but he was saying that you could feel the indentation, like it was just not, not very supportive. So I could see a little bit on it, it doesn't look too bad, you know, but a lot of it you don't know till you're, till you're laying on it. So yeah, let's get to it, let's open it. Now here's a good thing, we normally cut them up with a knife, but these ones have a zipper, so we're gonna spare the, the blade today. So let's open it up. It's just a regular polyester stretch knit cover. Yep. Um, nothing special about it. Um, so now here is, this is the FR. This is an FR sock, which this is probably the most common type of FR that you're gonna find, especially in foam mattresses. Since 2007, every mattress has to have some sort of fire retardant yeah. on it. This is the most common one. Now, here's something though very, you gotta be very careful on, is when you take off that cover, a lot of people wanna take off that cover and wash it and then you expose this. The problem is with sock like this, with an FR, it's common to have these little fiberglass, little fibers that can get all over the place. Yeah. You do not, so after this, I'm gonna toss this in a bag and throw it in the trash. It seems like it, it could get into your fibers, it could get into your clothes. The hard to get out, even if you throw it in the wash. Yeah, there's actually a lawsuit going on with another company online. Um, it's just read it on the LA Times that um, the FR just destroyed it because it was little fiberglass fibers. So just be careful with this. This would be a pain in the butt. So don't, I don't recommend taking off if your mattress has one of those zipper um, covers like all these foam ones do. That will expose this. People try to wash them and then this. So they should, they, should they be, be careful? Be careful. Be careful. Did I say it enough? <laughs> yeah. Just be careful. Say enough. Be careful. Be careful. Right. I can't stress enough. First off, let's just get the, uh, the mattress height, right? This is... 10 inch. 10 inches. Yeah. On a queen size, this thing, at least as of today, this thing retails for about $7.99. I think that's what they're on sale right On sale for price. seven. They say $11.99, it's on sale for $7.99. I don't think I've ever seen it full price. So it's very rare that they do full price. King size like $9.99, uh, regular price $13.99. People that buy it on full price, maybe only the time when, they, uh, when they're switching the sales, right? And then all of a sudden. Oh yeah, or they updated the website. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful with that FR, yeah. <laughs> So we can pull it back. Ooh, and take a look at this, what we got here. You see these purple beads? You know what that's for? To make it look cool? To make it look cool. First off, what you can see on the top layer is these purple beads. I don't know if they, maybe maybe they were blue at one time, but it's purple. It's to make it look cooler, right? Are you amazed by the coolness? Yeah, yeah, wow. If you touch these purple beads, man, oh my gosh. Yeah, you, it's almost like, Frostbite. Little gimmicky, right? I don't know how much it really adds to it or if, if anything at all. Yeah, this is like a, a gel infused type um, foam. That's really what, what it is. Does it, does it make it cooler? No, it does not make the, there's a more story behind it. Yeah, that it was really big about 10 years ago, 12 years ago when I, maybe even longer than that, when I started seeing this gel infused stuff and they're still doing it. You know, now they're doing it with graphite. Now they're doing it with copper. There's some mattresses a few years ago had like diamond infused, you know, foam. But this is, I mean, this is what it, it's more marketing. That's really what it comes down to. So, so it's a memory foam bed, right? It's got seven and a half seven inches of foam. That's just regular foam, right? That's yeah, this is a little poly foam. About an inch and a half. Yep. And then you got another inch and a half of memory foam. So nothing very special about this bed, as, as far, except this cool gel beads, you know? But um, yeah, nothing really that- Pretty simple. Is, yeah. Right? More I mean, a, yeah. Just cut a block of foam, right? You. You got your firm base layer right here. Probably got a softer layer right here. Maybe like a medium, medium soft. And this is gonna be your memory foam. It's gonna be softer. So it transitions, right? Yeah. To it down to the base layer. Yeah. I mean, now I know why. You, it's a $7.99 queen size mattress, $9.99. Yeah. I mean, for the price, you know, there's probably about 150, maybe at the most $200 worth of foam in here, if that, and then the cover, which I don't even think that. So yeah, I mean, it's very basic. The complaint, you said one of them was that there was- One was the heat. The heat was an issue. Yeah, and on one of the sides, um, it was more on the husband's side that he had that, just not supportive. Yeah. You know? It didn't doesn't look like it. I mean, it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape, but he said on 
his side it was uh he felt like he was just sinking in okay so kind of like a sinkhole yeah mattress model gabe jump on to see how it feels all right he's a mattress tester hey, uh, uh, because it's dangerous i think you said it's dangerous i'm going to put this cover on all right so let's cover that back up all right so gabe <sighs> All right, let's start in the middle. I mean, feel-wise, it's not bad. It is soft. I do feel it is. On a scale of 1 to 10 softness, what would you say? Yeah, I'd say it's about a 6. 6, okay. Yeah. yeah. Closer to medium. Let me go to the side over here. It's definitely softer right here. So do you feel the difference between the middle and then the edge? Well, let's see. Uh, maybe it's where the husband slept? Yeah, this side feels closer to what the middle would feel like. Yeah. I'd what, say or this, is, this is a little bit firmer, this side. That side is definitely softer. For a side sleeper, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I would say it's like a medium soft. Feels okay. Let's see, how old did we say this mattress was? About five years old. Of course it was, uh, just didn't feel a supporter for the, the husband and and slept a little bit warmer than he liked. I guess those purple beads, maybe there wasn't enough purple beads on his side. Yeah, maybe if you double the purple beads amount, he probably got another three months, three weeks on it. Yeah. Maybe. So, all right. Well, yeah, that's the low mattress. You Pretty know, simple. Very basic, very simple. 799, not a huge risk, you know. And here's something that, I've been, that has been confirming lately too. The bed in the box, they've been around closer now, 2013, 12, 13, 14. We're, we're seeing a little pattern going on is, yes, they were really big several years ago, but around the, anywhere from the two to five year mark is where we'll see that the cycle, okay, it is just, about the lifespan is like between the two and five year mark is what we're seeing you know not all of them yeah but just from uh, observation it's all anecdotal but in the stores we've been seeing yeah i've had it for about three years you know i loved it for the first couple of years last this past year you started noticing a little softness this one just goes with that same the same pattern you know? yeah he, he actually noticed it a lot earlier like he took him five years to buy the mattress but it was actually Two years into it, a year and a half, he said two years into it is okay. when he started noticing that and he just put up with it. Yeah. You know, because they bought the mattress, like, no, nah, it should ask me at least five years. So, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Hope this was good mattress entertainment. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions about mattress shopping, leave them in the comments. Um, if you guys have a mattress you want to donate it, go ahead and let, send it to us. And um, yeah, we have a mattress guide that we'll put together during your mattress shopping journey that gives you tips. Uh, on mattress shop and the mistakes not to make so yeah and also go through our videos too you know because there's a lot of like if you don't want if you rather watch and listen yep rather than read uh, a lot of our videos we go over you know stuff in our guide as well in some a lot of our mattressology videos yeah and yeah if we're way out of your town maybe visit your local mattress factory you know there you'll get a very good value if you go to one of your local mattress factories you know if you don't have one in your area give us a call but yeah i, I encourage you to quickly because if you're closer to it, they usually use higher quality materials to it because they don't they don't have all the overhead like a huge company. But um, yeah, hope this helps you guys. And then yeah, just if you guys can help the channel, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See ya.